Moving on. Sri Lankans are queuing outside Immigration and Emigration Department headquarters for days, hoping to get a passport and with it, a chance to leave the country wilting under an economic crisis. The urgency for many people aiming to leave was compounded recently by a warning by Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe that a food crisis is only months away. Stacks of new passports lie on a table at Sri Lanka's Department of Immigration and Emigration as officials making final checks hurriedly looked over them. Hundreds of people have amassed before collection counters nearby, hoping it will be their turn to collect a new passport soon, along with the ability to leave the South Asian nation as it weathers the worst financial crisis in seven decades. A senior official said he has not seen demand for passports on this scale in the six years he has been at the department, adding that the 160 members of staff were exhausted trying to meet the demand for new passports. I Backlog ke aktibunat ape niladharing senasurada dina wale di raja kari karamin tamai e tatte kalamana karne karaga nimin tibi. The department has tightened security, expanded working hours, and tripled the number of passports it issues. But at least 3,000 people are dropping off their forms every day. 50 year old housewife Indrani Priyantha, who has been in the line for three days, was hoping to hand in papers and obtain her first passport so she could apply for a job as a housemaid in Kuwait. The urgency for many people aiming to leave was compounded recently by a warning from new Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe that a food crisis is only months away. The United Nations says Sri Lanka risks a full-blown humanitarian emergency and it has launched a plan to provide 47.2 million US dollars to 1.7 million of the country's most vulnerable people. In a bid to fix the crisis, Sri Lanka is in talks with the International Monetary Fund IMF for a bailout package having suspended repayment on about 12 billion US dollars in foreign debt in April.